start over. You've just come off the uh, second pre-season game of, of 2018-19. I mean, how was it for you? It's a rare goal as well. It was. Um, it's something that I'm going to try and bring to my game this season um, a little bit more. Um, I've got into positions um, earlier on last year and maybe failed to deliver at times and look for a pass. But there was an opportunity on Saturday to, to have a shot on goal and yeah, I was, I was very happy with, with how it went in. Yeah, it was a good finish as well, wasn't it? I mean, was it against, sort of against your natural instincts, as you say there? Because ordinarily you'd be looking to cross the ball, but you sort of had to have a shot. No, without a doubt. I think um, me and Jam's linked up quite well. He managed to get into a pocket of space where the, the left winger and the um, third centre-half um, didn't know whether to track him or not and it gave me a little bit of space to run in behind them when you're in a position sort of eight yards out um pits that marked in the box i just thought i had to give it a go and yeah thankfully it went bottom corner um as i say it's a start it's something that um, i'm looking to bring to the game this year yeah and it's something the manager i think has highlighted i'm sure he's probably discussed with the, the squad as well that looking for goals from other areas of the pitch not just up front no it's important when you look at how much we relied on pits last year um, his return of 24 goals is fantastic, but there was opportunities for other players to chip in and we probably didn't do that as much as we, we wanted to. So, yeah, if we can hit the ground running in that sense and scoring across, you've seen Chappas score, you've seen Jamal score in the court game as well and, and Burge. So there's already we're seeing other lads chipping in with goals and hopefully that will continue throughout the year. court there as well I mean you've just spent almost a week in Ireland for a pre-season training camp how did you how did you find that no it's good the setup there was fantastic um, we really sort of spoiled in that sense and um, a good sort of run out against Cork it was to dust off the cobwebs and get into um, sort of good habits again um, after you've been off for seven weeks um, you can do as much sort of running and um, that sort of thing training as you want in the off season but it's not like playing a game so to get back out there and um, getting that match fitness topped up is, is important and it was a, a successful tour in that sense. Yeah, and how about Hawks? I mean, obviously you, you played a half there. It wasn't probably necessarily, the quality wasn't always there, but you got the result in the end. I mean, how would you assess that one? It's a, it's a scorching hot day as well. It was. It was tough in that sense and both teams had to try and um, come back against that heat. But I think as a performance, we were probably slightly disappointed in particular the first half. Uh, we know we were able to, to produce better than that. And as I said, it's, it is about getting into good habits. Um, the results are maybe not as important at the moment in time. It's getting that match fitness and getting the sort of patterns of play that we're starting to work on in training. And stuff. We're probably a little bit sloppy at times. We allowed them opportunities when we shouldn't have. And it's those sorts of things that we need to eradicate from our game if we're going to be successful this season. How about yourself? Are you one of these lads that enjoys pre-season or are you one of these that wants to just hit the fast forward button and get through to August the 4th? Yeah, I don't think any professional um, enjoys pre-season, but it is about getting back after being out for, um, being away for seven weeks to get back out there is, is a nice feeling. Um, but no, it's, it's so important, making sure the body's right, feeling ready for August the 4th and um, the management and the, the sports science department here know exactly how the, to tune the lads so that come the 4th of August they're, they're ready to go. Yeah, I mean last season was a very different one for you because you just signed and unfortunately went down with an injury. So how much nicer is it to hit the ground running this year? It is, it's massive for me. Uh, I look back on that and it was, I remember the day that I got injured and it was a really, really low day for me. As I said numerous times, different interviews that I, it's so important when you come in, you want to give off a good first impression and to pick up an injury within 48 hours of, of being here was, was yes, a bit tough to take in that sense. But um, touch wood, after that, there wasn't any other injuries and that's why the off-season, I worked for PT, I even took him on holiday to make sure that my body is bulletproof in that sense, that there is no um, niggling injuries and I can hit the ground come on August the 4th and, and try and continue throughout the season with the same sort of energy levels throughout the year. And aims for the season generally for the squad who's presumably to go one better than last year because you, you ran it close uh, pretty much the whole way. Yeah, I think you look at the playoffs as the bare minimum for us last year. You, uh, for us this year, sorry. Um, last year we come close but we knew that the amount of defeats that we had over the course of the season probably isn't good enough and it just shows you like even with that how close we were I think it was five points in the end um, we can start to cut out some of those sloppy performances and tend to be a little bit more consistent um, over the season then I think we've got a real good chance but no, without a doubt the players have signed knowing that we need promotion this season we need to be in the championship and this club deserves to be here with the fan base and the infrastructure that's got in place it has to be a championship club.